Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos is setting a new record as he regains the title of world's richest man. So much money here. We have a new world's richest uh, human being. His name is Jeff Bezos. He presides over this giant empire. Amazon's just basically into everything, thanks in large part to its Amazon Prime service. Groceries, you name it, they're in it. According to Time magazine, from January 1st through May 1st of this year, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, saw his wealth increase by $275 million every single day for a total increase in wealth of $33 billion in a four-month period. Jeff Bezos, the world's richest man, is worth more than $130 billion. Bezos makes more in 10 seconds than the median Amazon employee makes in a year, $28,466. Bezos is one of the top 25 largest landowners in the country. He's on track to become the world's first trillionaire in the next 25 years. Last year, Amazon reported nearly $5.6 billion in U.S. profits and did not pay a nickel of federal income taxes on it. And Trump's new tax cut? It gives Amazon a $789 million tax break on deferred taxes. Amazon has dramatically ramped up spending on lobbying in recent years. Last year, Amazon spent $13 million on lobbying and hired nearly 100 lobbyists from some of the biggest firms on K Street. These lobbyists ensure that Amazon can avoid paying their fair share of federal taxes. Last year, Amazon had $2.8 billion stashed in tax havens in Luxembourg. Occasionally, they get caught. The commission has today adopted a decision that Amazon's uh, tax benefits are illegal under EU state aid rules. The world's largest online retailer has been hit with a $294 million bill from the European Union. Amazon, now the latest corporate giant to be swept up in an EU crackdown on tax avoidance. About 44 cents out of every dollar spent online in the United States now flows to Amazon. Bezos has made his fortune with the rise of the Amazon empire, but at what cost to his employees? It's described as a cutthroat corporate jungle where workers are pitted against one another 80-hour work weeks are the norm, and falling ill can mean you're out of a job. There is definitely a sense from people that we talk to that Amazon does not really care about their personal lives. You can't reveal any weaknesses or you will be in trouble. Amazon workers, pickers, packers, stowers are constantly moving. Pickers identify the items from rows of shelves, collect more than a thousand a day, and walk 15 miles in a typical 10-hour shift. Their business model is to employ people, work them as hard as they possibly can until they burn out and then get rid of them. And we're seeing that in the distribution centers whether it's physically or mentally, people burn out and then they're discarded. These working conditions have had deadly consequences. Philip Terry, a 59-year-old from Indianapolis, died when a forklift at an Amazon facility fell and crushed him as he was doing maintenance on the machine. Last year, Devin Shoemaker, a 28-year-old from Pennsylvania, who had worked at an Amazon warehouse for seven years, was run over by a truck and killed. Another person, Jody Rhodes, was also crushed to death in that facility in 2014. In the summer, temperatures in Amazon warehouse have measured the heat index as high as 110 degrees. And the issue of, um, of working conditions, I'm very proud of our working conditions and I'm very proud of the wages that we pay. Thousands of Amazon employees are forced to rely on food stamps, Medicaid and public housing because their wages are just too low. The jobs that Amazon facilities bring to a community are not the beacon of hope a community might expect. In places where Amazon operates, warehouse workers earn about 10% less than similar workers employed by other companies. For example, since opening an Amazon facility in Lexington County, South Carolina, annual earners for warehouse workers have fallen by 30%, from $47,000 to $32,000. Since opening an Amazon warehouse in Chesterfield, Virginia, warehouse wages in the area have fallen by 17%. In Tracy, California, they've fallen by 16%. What does Jeff Bezos do with all of his money? Bezos has further expanded his power and control over the economy with purchases like the Washington Post, which he bought for $250 million in cash 
launched in 2013. Bezos has a lake house in Washington State worth $25 million, a Beverly Hills estate worth $25 million, and a trio of New York City apartments on Central Park West worth $17 million. He paid $23 million in cash for the largest private home in Washington, D.C., second only to the White House, and immediately began a $12 million renovation, turning the 27,000-square-foot mansion into an extravagant residence. His newly renovated home will have 25 bathrooms. Meanwhile, Amazon workers skip bathroom breaks in order to meet their grueling work targets. So what does money mean for you, being the first person uh, in history uh, that has uh, a net worth of a uh, three-digit amount of billion? The only way that I can see to uh, deploy this much financial resource is by converting my Amazon winnings into space travel. So that's basically it. In the time it took to watch this video, Jeff Bezos made over $1 million. So what do you think? Can Jeff Bezos afford to pay his workers a living wage?